Well, thank you very much for coming and putting up with the delay and possibly rain. But um, this all started because Ella's couldn't take a grade eight because of COVID and she couldn't do any A-levels and we couldn't do any concerts and we were all very bored. And we thought, well, there's no point in practicing grade eight pieces because we're not doing them. So what shall we do? And this is just all thought, well, we must do something useful and break out of the non-concert mode. And um, so there we are. And it's just grown and grown and we hope you'll enjoy the concert.
those of you who are opera fans, you'll probably recognize these tunes, at least I hope you will. Uh, these, <laughs> these two are from the Magic Flute. Um, and the first one is sung by three boys. We've only got two parts, but you know. Uh, and the second one is all about Papageno, uh, the bird catcher.
Now, at this point, we have a couple of solos. Firstly, from Ella. This might have been something she could have played at her grade eight. No pressure, eh? <laughs> I forgot to say that that was, in fact, as you probably guessed, South American music from Argentina. And um, the Associated Board has, has brought in quite a lot of jazzy type music, which is really rather nice in contrast to all the classical stuff that goes on.
Uh, the next Mozart is from Don Giovanni. And Don Giovanni was a bit of a naughty chap. More than a bit naughty, actually. He's into seducing young women with sweet songs. And this is one of them.
Okay, folks, now it's time for the, the big chap. Uh, as you probably don't, you don't get to hear the alto flute very much. Mostly it's used uh, in jazz music and sort of things like that. So it doesn't get much into the classical repertoire. But recently the Trinity Board have introduced alto flute music and piccolo music as part of the exam music, if, if you want to. So that's, uh, this is from the grade six Trinity list. The next piece is one of those stock repertoire pieces of the solo flute, Syrinx by Claude Debussy. And it's sort of incidental music for a, a play called Psyche, uh, which is French play. I'll just read you the introduction. But the background to it is that Syrinx um, was a nymph. And Pan was a bit, a bit of a chap, you know, who wanted, wanted Syrinx and she didn't want him. So she ran away and changed herself into a reed by the river. It didn't really save her because he cut the reed and he made panpipes from it. This is the legend. And um, so this, this tune, although it doesn't actually say it in the, t in the introduction, is very, very wistful of Syrinx, you know, gone as it were, but not quite gone and not free as she expected to be. Um, but even so, making fabulous music. And this is the introduction. Pan's cave. Through the opening you can see a clearing in the forest. A stream flows into a little lake. White rocks in the background. In the moonlight, nymphs in white are dancing. Other nymphs pick flowers or lie by the water's edge. At times, they all stop to listen in wonder to the syrinx of the invisible Pan.
Well, thank you very much, everybody, for coming and supporting us. And um, if you feel moved to, to, to contribute, if you want to do cash donations, there's a bottle here. If you want to go online and do the Just Giving thing, your details at the bottom of your program. I just have some big thank yous to offer to Steve. Steve, thank you so much. And Janet for lending us your field. <laughs> and also my other thanks is to Ella. Ella didn't realise how much practice she was going to have to do, <laughs> how many rehearsals she was going to have to attend, how much music she was going to have to do. And this, um, for me, it's been you know, quite a challenge. For Ella, it's a mammoth task to play all this many things in one go. So, uh, you know, well done, Ella. And here's a little something to... So thank you all very much. I hope you're not too cold. Go home and have a nice cup of tea. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>